Today on Ghostbusters News, the Boogeyman cometh. Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News, right here on YouTube. And it's no secret, looking in behind me here, that I am a collector of practically pretty much all things Ghostbusters. And really, the addiction began way back, of course, in the 1980s with the original Kenner's real Ghostbusters toy line. In that line, we saw action figures based around the main four guys, Peter, Ray, Winston, and Egon, as well as also Gene Melnitz, Louis Tully and unique spook and specters that were created just for the line, like Granny Gross and Fearsome Flush. And as a kid, I absolutely loved this line, as well as an adult, I mean, I still love the line, but now I can kind of look at it in a different way, and I gotta admit, they dropped the ball a bit in one specific area, and that was not having more ghosts from the actual real Ghostbusters animated series in the toy line. There were tons of characters that would have been perfect for store shelves. Characters like Sam Hain, the Grundle, the Sandman, and in my opinion, the biggest missed opportunity, the Boogeyman. And while we have seen like officially released Boogeyman figures in the past, uh, namely Diamond Select Toys, Ghostbusters Mini Mates line, we've never actually gotten like a true like six inch scaled Boogeyman figure. So that's why when I saw an image of this figure, pop up online a few weeks back there, I knew I just had to have it. Now let's get a few things out of the way right here. First and foremost, this figure is 100% fan made. It is not licensed or endorsed by Hasbro, Sony Pictures, anybody connected whatsoever to Ghostbusters. And for those wondering, it was made by the folks over at the BAM Toy Company. And if you'd like to check out BAM Toy Company's past work, or if you got a toy idea you'd like to see commissioned, be sure to reach out to them. We've got their Facebook page right down below in the description. And now that I got that out of the way, once again, 100% fan made, not endorsed by Hasbro or Sony, just to let you guys know once again, um, I gotta say, this is an action figure um, I would have loved, 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 loved to have as a child. At the same time, it probably would have kept me up at night, you know, having this in my toy room. I mean, just check out the level of detail here on the face that went into the 3D sculpting. That big evil sinister grin, we got the crooked teeth, we got that crazy elongated accurate nose. I mean, also just take a look at how high his hair goes. I mean, that is so over the top, so 80s. A flock of seagulls would certainly approve. And while we're talking about the hair there, let's actually move around to the back here and showcase uh, the hair once again goes very, very long on the back end as well. We got some pretty cool, like nice little details with some of the hair strands uh, sticking out. As I've already mentioned, the nose goes pretty long there, but uh, I do also want to touch on the massive, massive ears with all like the little cuts and slits in them like we saw in the uh, the Real Ghostbusters animated series. Now as I move down to the body here, uh, I do actually want to touch on like kind of what this figure is made out of. I think he's actually made out of a resin, at least kind of what I'm feeling here. Uh, he's 3D printed, BAM Toy Company, they went in, they, uh, they sanded him, they primed him, they painted him. Um, he looks, once again, just so, so professional here. But yeah, taking a look at the body here, he's got this uh, little blue and red jacket on. I mean, he's totally naked, but the jacket, like why even wear the jacket? Um, yeah, yeah, I never really noticed, once again, how over the top his, his actual costume is. Now for those wondering, the action figure is also articulated, so you can definitely move the arms up and down, as well as also uh, the legs do move, but um, yeah, I mean, that looks like, you know, kind of awkward, like he's kind of trying to relieve himself a little bit. And touching on, and speaking of, of those uh, those legs, the hooves there, um, he's got, you know, really, really tiny legs. In fact, from a design stage, uh, I'm really actually happy with how BAM Toy Company uh, counteracted those little legs because he typically wouldn't be able to stand normally. As you can see here, they use the uh, the tail end of his jacket to actually help uh, support him and make him actually stand upright. So the overall design on this thing, the 3 sculpting, I, I really do love on here. Uh, as well, the paintwork really, really pops nicely. It looks like he was lifted right out of that original Real Ghostbusters episode. Now, I know what you're wondering out there, how does he stack up next to, you know, your standard real Ghostbusters action figures. Well, here he is standing next to the the Hasbro re-release of the old school Kenner real Ghostbusters classic Egon Spangler. With the Boogeyman certainly having quite the height advantage over Egon here, which he certainly should because, I mean, he's a big menacing ghost. So let it be known over the years, I've collected a ton of uh, custom Ghostbusters action figures, but uh, this guy right here certainly ranks, uh, he, he's in the top echelon, I think. I love the way he turned out 
And once again, for a fan-made figure, I mean, this thing, this thing looks legit. Now, as I've already mentioned several times in this video, uh, this Boogeyman figure was made by the BAM Toy Company. If uh, you'd like to check out some of their past work, or if you have a custom action figure idea you would like to see commissioned, uh, we've got their Facebook link right down below in the description. Click it and uh, reach out to them. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube, uh, bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to help out Ghostbusters News, we do have a Patreon page. Link to that can be found right down below in the description as well. And I will see everybody right back here next time. Ghostbusters News here on YouTube.